Hi, today we're going to do 2012 practical examination paper. Well, to me, 2012 is one of the most difficult practical exam for the past 10 years. But as I always say, do not fret. When you're doing practical exam, what must you remember? The basic two steps. I call it the PE. P stands for preparation and E stands for execution. So, are you ready? Let's start preparing. Let's clear the clutter first. My clutter is clear. I always like to test my Bunsen burner first before I start any experiment. Let's see whether the lighter is working. That's a Bunsen burner. Everything is working well. Let's put this aside first. I like to test, I like to put all my test tube right in front of me. Okay? So that I can assess to them easily. So let's place all the test tube here. Okay. Let's read the experiment. It says here you are provided with a solid sample of salt P and a solid sample of salt Q, each in a stoppered test tube. You are also provided with separate sample of aqueous solution of salt P, Q, and R. Okay, I have aqueous solution P, aqueous solution Q, and aqueous solution R. It goes on to say each salt contains only two ions and between them, the three salts contain two different cations and two different anions. Carry on the following experiments, test any guesses evolved. Carefully record your observation in table 2.1. It says here, part A, remove the stopper from test tube A, labelled as salt P. Heat this test tube gently and then more strongly until no further changes are seen. I'm supposed to heat this. While you are heating the test tube strongly, place a glowing split near the neck of the test tube. You must ensure that the splint does not fall into the test tube and repeat this process above, this time using test tube labor, solid salt cube. So, I have to heat P and Q later. So I'm going to move this aside. Let's put this further up so I have more space. Put my splint in front. Okay. It goes on from B to D. Perform the test described and record your observation in table 2.2 on page 9. This is my page 9. Okay. And the volume given in table 2.2 are approximate and should be estimated rather than measured. Okay, part B. Part B says place 1 cm cube of solution P in a large test tube. Place 1 cm cube of dilute sodium hydroxide. Well, sodium hydroxide, we have to refer to the QA notes. QA notes says here when I add sodium hydroxide, is to test for cations. However, the says here, gently warm the mixture and then boil it for one minute and test for any gases evolved with litmus paper. Now, according to the cations table here, the only one that will give out a gas is actually ammonium. And then they will give out ammonia gas. And then further down, to test for ammonia gas, you're supposed to use that red litmus paper. It's supposed to turn blue. Okay, so let's start by doing markings on my test tube. It says here 1 cm cube of P. So I'm going to measure 1 cm cube of P and 1 cm cube of sodium hydroxide. And let me label P and part B. Okay. It says here that I will repeat B using solution Q and R. So the whole part I have to repeat for Q. So let me do the marking for solution Q. Also 1 cm cube of Q and 1 cm cube of sodium hydroxide. And for R, okay, remember the right part B. Okay, 1 cm cube of R and 1 cm cube of sodium hydroxide. All right, all done, lovely. Okay, now it goes on to say add a piece of aluminium foil to the test tube and warm the mixture. Okay, but before I go on, I must make sure that I put my sodium hydroxide in front here. And they say the litmus paper. So because it's a testing of ammonia gas, I make sure that I prepare red litmus paper. And of course, litmus paper has to be damp. I put my distilled water in front. 
Okay, I'm ready for the first part. Okay, it says here, add a piece of aluminium foil to the test tube and warm the mixture. I have pieces of aluminium foil here. Let me place all of them near to this side. And then it says here, test any gases evolved with litmus paper. Well, to use aluminium foil, according to the QA notes here says, aluminium sodium hydroxide followed by aluminium foil. You are actually testing on nitrate. And then ammonia gas again will be evolved. So I will have to test for ammonia gas again. More litmus paper will be used. More red color, so let me cut some more to be used later for the part, second part. Okay, let me place all this here. And of course, I will have to repeat all the steps for solution Q and solution R. Okay, let's move on to part C. Part C. Place 1 cm cube of solution P in a test tube and add 1 cm cube of dilute nitrate acid followed by 1 cm cube of silver nitrate solution. So, I'm supposed to do some marking as usual. Estimated amount 1 cm cube of P, 1 cm cube of dilute nitrate acid and 1 cm cube of silver nitrate. So, I'm going to write P and this is part C. Okay. It says here, to the mixture, add about 1 cm cube of aqueous ammonia solution and shake. So, I have to add another 1 cm cube of aqueous ammonia solution. So, it's actually 4 lines. All marking done, place it back. Repeat C using solution Q and solution R. So, all the marking have to be done for both solution Q and R. Let me do Q, part C. Same thing. 1 cm cube of Q, 1 cm cube of dilute nitrate acid, 1 cm cube of silver nitrate, and of course 1 cm cube of aqueous ammonia. Four lines. Now for R, for part C, four lines as well. 1 cm cube of R, 1 cm cube of dilute high, uh, nitrate acid, 1 cm cube of silver nitrate, and of course another 1 cm cube of aqueous ammonia. And then let's prepare the solution. Silver nitrate, I have it here, place it here. Nitrate acid, this is my nitrate acid. I have the pipette here, let me put it over right here. And aqueous ammonia, aqueous ammonia. Already. Okay, part, C, uh, part D now. Okay, place 1 cm cube of solution P in the test tube. Add 1 cm cube of dilute hydrochloric acid followed by 1 cm cube of barium chloride. Okay, so let's do 1 cm cube of P. Let me do the marking. 1 cm cube of P, 1 cm cube of dilute hydrochloric acid and 1 cm cube of barium chloride. And this is part, part D. P. Of course, I have to repeat for solution Q and solution R. So let me write down part D, and this will be my Q. Same thing 1 cm cube of Q, 1 cm cube of dilute hydrochloric acid, followed by 1 cm cube of barium chloride. I need one more test tube for R. Part C. 1 cm cube of R, 1 cm cube of dilute hydrochloric acid, and 1 cm cube of barium chloride. Let me prepare my solution. Barium chloride is here. Okay. And hydrochloric acid. Okay, it's right here. All done and let me underline barium chloride is from the QA notes so let's refer to the QA notes barium chloride now in the QA notes it says here barium nitrate now when you're using barium chloride and barium nitrate they are testing on the same thing also testing on sulfate if there's a white PPT there is sulfate so I've finished my preparation in 10 minutes. Okay, so are you ready to start the experiment? <laughs>